And now in other news, last week ILTV attended the Innovation on the Bar event hosted at the Abrams Lounge in Tel Aviv, where two prominent tech leaders held panel discussions on Israel's future and the tech sector. Let's take a look. Two of Israel's most prominent leaders in tech joined forces for a promising night of inspiration at the Innovation on the Bar event, showcasing the eclectic bar at the Abrahams Lounge in Tel Aviv and in partnership with Israel Innovation Authority, both Nir Zou, founder and CTO of Palo Alto Networks, and Dror Bin, CEO of the Israel Innovation Authority, led a panel discussion called Israeli High Tech is Shaping Tomorrow, Technology as a Force that Changes Reality. With their talent and experience in the tech world, they discussed why Israel has become a central point around the globe for innovation and startups. The talent is what makes uh, Israel so uh, special. Uh, when you meet with uh, entrepreneurs, uh, people that have ideas about new uh, tech ventures, you just uh, see the spark in their eyes. And if you tell them uh, it's impossible to do, then you just motivate them even further. And I think that along uh, the five last uh, decades, many amazing tech companies uh, st started out here in Israel as startups and then grew to the global uh, markets. And especially this year, a year of uh, war, 2024, we uh, maybe against all odds, we saw even more vibrant ecosystem of more people uh, seeing new needs and wanting to bring uh, technological solutions uh, to those needs. More than 300 people filled the room at the Abraham to hear the panel about the booming ecosystem of innovation in Israel and to understand what is needed to keep the level of high effectiveness for startups according to experts. A lot of enterprise related innovation came out of Israel. Traditionally, Israel has been known for creating very innovative technology, but struggling to make it into products. What we've seen in recent years is the ability of Israeli companies to not just innovate and create innovative technologies, but also taking them, productizing them, selling the product, and scaling the company to relatively high levels. There is an oppor a proven opportunity here to build companies worth billions of dollars that are fully developed into selling products around the world. Both Bean and Zoo discuss the future of high-tech in Israel and how they can reach levels of success. We now see uh, a potential very strong wave of uh, deeper technologies, uh, just to mention uh, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, but many other sectors which involve not just only software, but also tangible products to solve the great problems of humanity. Uh, talk about energy and climate change and uh, health and uh, transportation. Israelis are known for knowing better than everyone else. And it's been very common for Israeli startups to always assume that they know better than customers, what the customers need. And that almost always turns out to be true. And this is really the role of product management. The more Israeli companies will be product management driven versus engineering driven, the better they will be and the more successful they will be. Tune in for their next events in March.